But hello everybody, it's Emiliano here, the developer from uh, Hammer and Ravens and uh, this is going to be the first of a set of tutorials about user interfaces. We spent a lot of time on them and uh, then that's time to share. In this one uh, we are going to do a really simple panel to start like the, the set of tutorials. It's going to be a panel with uh, some text that is going to be refreshed uh, upon the click of a button. It's pretty easy, we build up our panel in the middle of the screen. Uh, I tend to usually I tend to like to put the anchors in the middle because I found them a bit more manageable but like that depends on the on the panel that you need. Here we resize it and uh, once we resize it we wanna give it some slightly better looks. I'm using some of the, the graphics that we use for Empires in Ruins and uh, we make it like not transparent. Here you go. Here we have our panel then we add to the panel a button. The button you remove the text if you don't want any text written on the button. Then also to the button you give it some looks according to your user interface, and we give this one. Then uh, we make it uh, squared, so like round uh, at least how it is. Then we position it a bit on the side, like on the lower uh, side of the of the panel. Then uh, now it's time to add the text. We are like a super simple text. We we change the font to the font that we are using in Empires in Ruins. We change the color, make it white. Then we give the material that we are using for Empires in Ruins, and here we go. Then, uh, oops. Then uh, we change the text just like to have an idea on how it how it will look the the final one. Then we center it, and here we go. This is turn now. Now it's time to add uh, a script. We make a very simple script. Here we go. With the name that says it all. And here's the script. We start it. Start mono. Okay. First of all, we add to the script. Uh, we see this three using, otherwise we cannot use the user interface uh, features of the uh, unit. Then uh, we add a button, a public button. As I said, remember to make it public so you can access it from the inspector. And then uh, we add the oops, public. We add the text, our text on the user interface. And uh, then uh, the turn. First turn is zero. It starts from zero and here we set it. Now. We make a simple, very simple callback that uh, will answer to the click of the, the button. The not new turn. And inside we put the behavior that we want to assign to our button. So basically, the turn will increase by one. And here in the start of the script, uh, we add the listener with the simple code, it's one line of code. Oops. Maybe I can write it, yes, I can. New term. And here we go. Here we gave on click, add listener, and we give our function. Give it a save. Now, then we let refresh the inspector. So it will show our public transforms. Maybe it will. Yes, it did. Here they are. Like, this is a pretty simple way. You just drag them there and they will catch the correct uh, component of the object. So you see, we gave it the button and we gave it the text. Now here, every time we click the new turn button, we want to upgrade the turn, but we also want to show it on the user interface. So the text will change. This is a pretty rough way to do it. Like you can do it much cleaner, but this shows how to start with. Like yes. then we also do it on the start, so it will initialize uh, with a correct turn automatically. Anyway, and here we go. We start. Uh, Test build in the editor, and here our panel. Click, you see, 
easy peasy. Uh, this one was like very 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 simple approach like next time we will show something a bit more advanced but uh, I think that's a good way to start. Cheers!